Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Misty Hina with Misty Hina's Lego Robotics. In today's video, I'm so excited because I'm always into forklifts. And today I'm gonna show you how to attach this forklift to a regular educator robot. It's gonna be so cool. I'm gonna show you how to build it, attach it, and then show you how cool this forklift is. So if you wanna see that, stay with me. Hino Lego Robotics. Okay guys, I don't know what it is. I just love how forklifts can do a job. It can lift, it can lift heavy things. And so today, this simple attachment, that's the cool part, it's just so simple. I'm gonna have you guys get these pieces and you will need a third motor. And I'm thinking, oh man, if you're using it already for your bot, you might need to go out and get another motor like this, but it's gonna need a third motor and I'm gonna show you how to attach it and then show you how this thing can lift. So let's go to it. Okay, so here are the pieces that you're gonna to need to build this forklift attachment. You're gonna need this large motor. I apologize again for those of you that just have the core kit that only has two, but you can get your hands on one of these guys relatively cheap, I believe. Depends on how you purchase it. Okay, we're gonna need two of these white L's. We're going to need two of these gray pins. We're going to need three, six, nine, twelve black pins. Two of these. I only had one of these red pieces, so I had an extra orange. Um, you're going to need five of the gray bushings, two sevens, one three axle, four of the gray eleven beams, and your H picture frame. So let's get building. Okay, so you have your four black pins that we're going to put right into this H frame or picture frame. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and put these two white L pieces onto those two black pins, one on each side. Okay, so now that we have these two white L pieces in, and this is always something I always try to be better at, but we're now going to stick this seven right into here, goes through this gray bushing, and comes out that side there. Okay, now that we have this seven axle in, we're just gonna go ahead and put these two gray 11s right onto the axle. Okay, now we're just gonna take these two gray bushings and put them on the outside edges to keep these secure. Let's go ahead and take this seven axle Put it right through there. We'll go ahead and put both 11s on like so. And you should have two gray bushings left and we're just gonna put that at the end. And this is why we have those bushings so they don't fall off like this. Okay, so this is the way you should have it right here. And then we'll just now go ahead and flip it over like that. Okay, so what we'll do is we're gonna go ahead and just take this three axle, put it right through the middle right here. Then you're gonna get these two pieces, these short L's. We're gonna put the gray pin because we want those frictionless and we'll just put them on both sides of that three axle like that and what we're going to do now is go ahead and place place it in the second hole right there and right there okay now we're going to get your black pins we're going to get two 
on and make sure they're on the opposite sides like so and we're just now going to flip that into there and flip it into there like so and we have our forklift Okay, so now what we're going to do is get this thing ready for attachment. So we're going to put, oh, this one already had one in it. We're just going to put two black pins at the top and two black pins here at the bottom. I already had my cable plugged in, so we're going to go ahead and plug this guy in like so. And it's going to go in right here these two holes and then these middle two holes should just snap in like that and there we go here is our forklift attachment down low and up high what i would suggest doing is if you can see how it's kind of slanted i put two black pins here at the top just so if I'm picking something up then I can uh, put you know whatever's on here won't slide down and then you're wondering well how does it get off well then you can just lower this and if it's sitting on there then you should be able to just back up that robot so let's go ahead and take a look at this guy in action Alright guys, like always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch 
my videos and again hopefully you'll throw down in the comment section your thoughts and feelings about uh, today's topic so I appreciate you guys if you love what you watch hit that subscribe button because I always just feel so much love from this community all right guys I will see you in my next video he's out he's out we got this we got this we got this guys Hey guys, Mr. Hino here. Thank you so much for watching. And if you love robotics, don't forget to check out these videos also because they're cool. Okay guys, take care.